I did watch his, like, carnival stream where he got those, like, old clown girls to do clown stuff. Ew. <laughs> what the fuck? Ew. Of course you fucking did. Jesus. <laughs> God, you're incorrigible with the clown shit. I don't know. I, f I feel like I've been getting more and more invibed into the whole clown aesthetic. Like, as time been... passes. But, like, not more in a cringe people. way. Oh, okay, you say, disclaimer, not in a cringe way, but I don't know if I believe you. It's for others to judge. I'm fine with that. I'm cringe, but I am free. That's the healthy mindset that I like to see. I'm gonna call you cringe, but I want you to be fine with being cringe, you know? I want you to be p at peace with your cringeness. I am. But rest assured, you are cringe. Oh. What else what were we talking about before we went on that tangent? Like, Jerma and shit? No, I'm gonna make you watch the Did You Know voice acting episode for Tome, where it, like, goes over the fucking Jerma thing. I did not know that that was an episode that existed. That's cool. I don't think it's official. Is, did you I know voice Chris... acting is official? Okay, I was gonna ask. No, I think Chris made it. <laughs> just for the sake of making it. He made it for his own fucking series. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. See, that's what I was wondering, and I'm so glad that that's the case, because he is the- It's so fucking beautiful and amazing how he is the biggest fan of his own work. You can't fault him because he made Tome, so you gotta give it to him. I mean, I don't have to give him shit, but I, I will say that I respect his absolute dedication and love to, like, being the steward of Tome's legacy, you know? Because no one else is going to fucking do it but him. Or maybe you. I feel like the largest the argument to, like, me having autism is the fact that I can't have a single conversation without bringing up Tome. And it's true. I think you've talked about it literally every time I've spoken with you within the last probably two years. Which is, and like, insane. You, <laughs> you think I'd stop at some point? Psychotic. Yeah. It, it never ends. It never ends. At least Tome is funny. Like, that's a funny thing to fixate on, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. it could be something really fucking boring and lame, like... I could be, like, one of those, like... Politics. Not even politics, but, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. I could be, like, one of those people. Right. Or, like, furry stuff, you know? Yeah. Just, like, really generic deviant art shit. Tome is just fucking weird. So, that's a hilarious thing to like, you know? <laughs> yeah. My avatar is safely out of the realm of, like, the furry scale. Mm, uh... So. Well, I mean, it's got claws and shit, and it has the Monster Girl vibe, which is really only a hop, skip, and a jump away from being a furry, let's be honest. You're not that far out of the woods as you fucking think you are. Yeah, but if I start up my promising VTubing career, think of all the art that yeah. people like draw of her when I commission them to do exactly that. I, I don't know if I want to think about that. I Actually, mean, I will say don't. it's a cool character design, but I, I don't yeah I don't want to think about that. That's between you and God. <laughs> And, and the devil, probably. I, I feel like anytime anybody makes an OC, they need to, like, evaluate the furry scale to make sure they're at least under a three. It's kind of like when you, like, put tint on your windows. Like, you need to have, like, a legal evaluation of how strong the tint is, and you're not allowed to go over a certain amount, you know? Yeah. It's exactly like that, in that, like, every time you do any type of character design work, no matter what, for any genre in any medium, the furry scale applies. Unless you're a furry, in which case you need to be like over a five or we're gonna take your uh, furry card away from you. Right, like at that point you just need to commit to the bit, you know? We're gonna sew up at your house personally, we're gonna like break into your home, we're gonna like, we're gonna make a bunch of noise and break shit, and we're gonna like uh, forcefully like delete your hard drive of all your like OC pictures. Not even that, yeah. but we'll open up your like Google Drive and delete all the pictures off of that too. I, I just w I want to clarify, um, it, for the purposes of a court of law, that, that none of this, none of what we're saying can be used as evidence against us right now. I'll fucking do it, don't you test me. <laughs> Why aren't you a furry yet? Is it is it a yet thing? I feel like it, there's a furry stage where if, like, if you don't become a furry by a certain age, it won't happen. <laughs> you know? like, I don't think you yeah. can become a furry at like 25. I think you have to, like if you're not a furry by 16, you're not gonna be, you know? I think that's fair. I would also say that you are not, like, the personality type to, like, be a furry, I don't think. I'm not the personality type. I don't have any conditions, shall we say, that would predispose me to that lifestyle. Can I walk off the Edston jump? No, I can't. <laughs> nice try, though. Oh, like, even though I am not and never will be a furry, I don't have anything against 
furries, but also I consume a worrying amount of furry media because that's what? a good source of like just pure, uncut, unabashed, like classic good grins, like the stuff you want. Like the fucking like uh Now we are Three, recording again. Okay. Well, that's really sad, but, um, uh, you know, I, I always knew we would get into the podcasting game eventually. It was only a matter of time, even if we didn't realize it was going to happen. Yeah. I mean, like, what even is long-form gameplay content, if not an exercise in podcastering? It's essentially podcasting with, like, a little video of family guy or subway surfers in the <laughs> corner to keep the viewer entertained yeah. that's all it really is so Ooh. yeah you're right big deal hopefully this time you don't record it in fucking 2k by accident all uh, right let's since we're talking about this on recording i'm going to elaborate that our footage got corrupted it was running at very like poor <laughs> frames and it cut off our entire like conversation about like the second half of our conversation about furries and the entire conversation about like the phoenix king and like what makes see previous good. episode for the reference yeah no to to recap my sentiments that i think i expressed basically i hate the type of cringe that just leaves you feeling completely barren oh yeah because we didn't talk about the nummy tots that got lost crispy chicken nummy nummy top no wait what got lost <laughs> the whole conversation about crispy chicken nummy tots oh god yeah yeah let's not go back into detail about that but basically oh. that's evil bad cringe that we hate whereas the phoenix king is good honest cringe that doesn't actually make you cringe and it makes you happy and we love it yeah Crisp um, and crispy chicken nummy nice tots makes you feel bad layer of the phoenix, phoenix king king's like good. reasons why to subscribe to me video makes me feel good and i watch it all the time because it is just it makes me feel good. It makes it's me happy. It brings joy into my life. It gives me a reason for living. Really, the see the search for things that are innocently, honestly, just humorous and and fun, uh, and not conforming to the rules of you know conceptions of what is good and valuable. That's what life is all about, really. And we also weren't able to find a an adequate word to describe that type of art. You know, we tried um, spaghetti. Like old you know, 2006, 2007 cheesy. term for like internet grins. It's just like internet spaghetti. But really, all those fail to capture the majesty of heartwarming, feel good cringe that we love. Yeah. What are some other examples of that feeling? Like, what are some other videos that give you that feeling? I think like the one part of like daily life of an otaku where like the girl points at the tree and just goes, <gasps> Sakura! Look! Sakuras. Like that makes oh, that's me happy. Good video. I agree. That video is really good. <laughs> I would say kind of that one fan made like MS Paint anime we watched. What's that called again? Uh it was like Kawaii High School or some shit. Oh Suki Desu Hi. The Suki Desu is here? Principal, it is time to form the Shinigami Haiki Desu. Yeah, that is it's weird because it, it crosses a line where it's actually like satirical. So at that point, it doesn't have the cringe elements anymore, but it's also so well done and so stupid that it kind of, it, ha it gives me those same feelings yeah. of like happiness, but also like it's really stupid. Um, I would say, yeah, definitely the, the video that you just mentioned qualifies. Ooh. I would say old angry video game nerd videos. <laughs> We do somewhat cross into this territory where it's like kind of corny and stupid, but still really fun and earnest. A couple weeks ago, I watched like this fan made compilation movie that just like compiled all of the scenes where the AVGN fights the nostalgia critic into just like one three hour movie. Oh my god, that's fucking long. Why it... did they fight so much? That's insane. And there's this guy called the Nostalgia Critic. And I have a bone to pick with one angry video game nerd. You're a poopy head. If you think this is gonna get rid of me, angry video game nerd, you are much mistaken. No! 